And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and today let's talk a little bit more RX Vega news. Now, it appears that we're not the only ones being left out in the cold when it comes to official news and information, and it's understandable why for us, but it also appears that the guys over at Gamers Nexus have been left out as well. But they will be getting their hands on an RX Vega 64 and 56, it appears, and you can definitely expect a thorough and well-written and well-produced review from the guys over there, thanks to Steve. With that out of the way, they did seem to bring in some great news for viewers as well as people who are looking forward to RX Vega as far as timelines. That's uh, one of the only real advantages of not being embargoed when it comes to information is that whenever you get it, you basically can share it. Let's let's take a look at the information that they've gotten. Uh, according to their sources, the, the guys over at Radeon Technologies Group have decided rather than pushing the RX Vega 64, they're pushing the, the Radeon RX Vega 56 to the forefront, making it the more compelling competitive product, it appears as something that we looked at in the numbers over on the video yesterday looking at the 3D Mark Firestrike and Time Spa showed that while the Vega 64 seemed to be competitive there we knew based on the performance hit that the Vega 56 would take that it should perform very very well especially at the $400 price point but what other information did they bring out? Well, it appears the unboxing embargo lifts on Saturday, August 12th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, AMD permits unboxing photos and videos only at this time, so that's what you'll see. It's kind of like whenever people started unboxing the Threadripper review kits, and I think a lot of that stems from the hype that was built up for the GTX uh, 10 series, because that's something they were doing with those, where they were taking a look at the cards like weeks in advance of the actual reviews. However, this looks like it'll be just a couple of days, because the performance embargo lift for Vega 56 is on August 14th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. The RX Vega 6 64 already is in the hands of some reviewers with the unboxing embargo lifting this Saturday the same time at August 12th at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time which should be interesting to see. Uh, it looks like we'll see a barrage of Vega 64 and Vega 56 unboxing videos but I have a feeling that you're going to be looking at the same product twice. The RX Vega 64 performance embargo also lifts on August 14th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, just in time for the launch. The updated Vega 56 launches in August 28th, so it'll be two weeks following the Radeon RX Vega 64 launch rather than uh, in September, which was originally anticipated. So it looks like they did push that up. Vega 56 does appear like it will be quite the competitive GPU, but we're going to wait and we're going to see how it actually performs in the real world. And we're going to go ahead and put a link to that article for Steve and the guys over at Gamers Nexus to, uh, so that you can go over there and read it a bit more in depth if you want to. We do appreciate the content that they provide over there and want to say thank you for the information as they posted it for everyone. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. We thank you for watching. If you found the video informative or entertaining whatsoever, feel free to leave a like, a subscribe, and comment if you have any questions, and we'll catch you guys all in the next video.